hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is sky tech digital so let's say you have a website like this and you want to add a preloader to it so that whenever somebody comes um, for the first time there will be a preloader on the website so that there will be a logo showing first before the website loads and then the website will also what be shown so let's say i want to open this website okay so i want to visit this website this is how it's going to be So we're going to add a preloader on the website the first screen that you see first before the main website opens now if you are new over here i'd love you to subscribe to the channel so that whenever i drop a video you'll be able to watch let's get into the video okay guys so first we're going to go to plugins over here and then click on add new now we are going to search for what we call preloader okay so there are a lot of preloaders over here okay now what we're going to use is the preloader plus over here preloader plus over here so just um you know click on install now and then click on activate to activate it okay so now that the preloader plus is activated what we are going to do is to do some few settings and then we'll have our preloader screen um you know coming to life so we are going to go to appearance over here and I click on customize. Okay, guys. So what we are going to do is we're going to go below over here, down here, and then you see what we say we call preloader plus over here. So pre on on the preloader plus, just click on it, and then go to settings. Okay. Now you can enable um, what you want to what we want to enable. So what we want to do is um, the progress bar is enabled. Custom image is also what enabled, and then um built-in icon is also enabled now we want to use the custom Im um, image if it is not enabled just click on the eye over here see all these things are not enabled but if you want to enable custom um you know image just click on the eye just um you know beside the custom image over here so if i click over here it will be disabled okay but if i click on it it will be enabled now when you enable it then you can we can go ahead and go to um let's go back over here you see this one which says icon image okay just click on it and then you can choose the icon that you want the loader icon that you want over here so if you want this one um that is what you're going to have if you want this one that is what you're going to have but i'm just going to click on this particular one okay and then i'll come over here which says custom image okay so under the custom image what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my image that i want so i'm going to click over here and then choose this particular image over here and then i'll click on what um choose image now that i have my image chosen now i can scroll down and then i can even add animation to it so um, whatever animation that i want to add i can just click over here either rotation or fading whatever it is i can be able to it i can be able to add so let me just add fade okay and then click on publish okay so if i go back and then i can even go to animations over here and then you know set the delay and duration of the animation the opacity and all those things of the animation i can do that okay by for now i think my purpose of adding a preloader is done if you want to do any settings of it you can go ahead and then you know play around the settings for instance if you go to the settings over here now if you come over here if you're adding um you know and um let's say a logo which um has a darker background you need to change this one to white okay you need to change the background to white and if you are adding also a logo which is um you know of um you can use your brand colors and other things to to change okay so if i choose um let's say a, a red logo it wouldn't match with a red background it wouldn't match with my what my logo that is why the black is okay for me okay so now i just i'm just going to leave it as it is over here and then i am good to go so now i have added a preloader to my website now also you can do some other settings about it if you want to show um you know at the just the first the home page only or the, all the other pages you can also do that okay so for instance let's go back again go to customize and then go to the settings and then you see all those settings that i'm talking about now whilst this one is loading let's go back to our website and refresh it right now and you see that now we have what we have a preloader on our website 
so guys as you can see there is a preloader over here okay loading for us and there you go and if you go over here and then you go under the um on the preloader over here you can also see that if you go to settings over here you can just show the preloader only on the front page show the preloader on the first visit okay depending on how you want you don't want it to load all the time but let's say you want to show it only on the front um you know on the front page and that will be so that all the other pages will not be showing okay and that is it so guys this is how you can be able to add a preloader to your website thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye